What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. I'm joined by the one and only Tidmouth. Say hello, Tidmouth. Hello. So today we are standing along the river just uh, at the base of the mountain. I think the, the coal mine is just over that way. We're trying to reach the coal mine, and I think we can do it. Uh, during the live stream, I got this little bit of track done. Tidmouth and I just finished this uh, passing track right here. Should make Dolan happy should probably not but uh it should make him happy <laughs> so um but before we get started there is a little announcement update they released their roadmap they called it the september update and they brought on a new development team so let's head over to steam right now and take a look at that so basically what we've got we've got an introduction to uh, black sheep studio who are going to be working on uh, technical stuff and redoing the ui the development roadmap we've got here tldr we've got an anniversary update tutorial update wiki update the map and ui update another spline update uh loading screen update and the rights and alerts update um and so they possibly go more into that on the uh trailer roadmap and also they are working on a current issue with people being able to uh, join even when it's locked with a password. Uh, I'll, I'll link a video in the description from Stir talking a little bit more about that. But anyway, back to the main video. So that's really awesome. I'm, I'm very excited for that. The roadmap actually looks pretty cool. We'll, we'll figure it out when they start releasing updates. All right, well, Tidmouth, I think, is going to head up to the coal mine, and he's going to start building his way down. Is that right, Tidmouth? Yep. And I'm going to take off again right here, and I'm gonna, we're going to meet kind of in the middle. I nearly had like a hill climb in the middle of the coal, coal plant. <laughs> is, it, is it possible to like just have the track be completely straight without having like a little bend in it? What do you mean? Because like the, the unloading platforms at the cold calling plant oh. are like slightly off from one another. Yeah, right. Okay. I bump it up. That's strange. I go from on the radius from zero meters and it's kind of down low to minus a thousand and it bumps it up. Yeah, the difference between clear. zero and a thousand is quite severe. <laughs> <laughs> I've been experimenting with the the new props and buildings while I've been uh, away on vacation. Oh, good. I have two. I didn't take my uh, my usual save with me. So I basically just had to start a, a new map. Oh. Are you going to keep playing it then? The new map? Yeah, possibly. I'm, I'm sort of experimenting with having uh, like the usual freight routes and then having a like a passenger network that sort of goes around it or through it in places. So like passenger trains would run on their own separated lines passenger trains huh when did they added passenger <laughs>
as you say, apologies to the viewers if we're not commentating that much. We're clearly just concentrating on what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very accurate. Yeah. I was planning on just kind of speeding up a lot of this. <laughs> I'm a little early, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Coming up to the that 3% climb. I found a good spot to kind of start transitioning upwards. So. Well, I only started going down here because I've been doing the, the, the loop at the top. So. <laughs> Good if they had the angle indicator so you knew what uh like what angle they're actually pointing. I've noticed ro rotating stuff like it gets affected it affects like the, the track angle and stuff as well. It's like your the grid alignment. Really? I didn't notice that. Yeah, when I was well, for me anyway, when I was uh, experimenting on my own save, uh, if I'd like go into the props menu, rotate a building, and then go back to the track menu, the alignment would be different. Oh. The and I think it is also slightly affected by the angle like you're facing when you when you start placing something as well so i've got like a bunch of platforms well i had a bunch of platforms i had to like redo several times just just adjusting my angle ever so slightly so they weren't wonky <laughs> trains on your section we're definitely gonna have to make sure you've got rid of all the trees yes i have a really bad habit about that don't i <laughs> it's probably not the greatest reputation to have <laughs> and i wish we had a way of measuring elevation right now Tell yeah me what your elevation you're at accurate tools for measuring that sort of thing haven't been invented yet <laughs> yeah Oh, they had some pretty sophisticated uh, surveying tools back then. I mean, nothing like we have now, but... <laughs> no. Oh, 
so good being able to walk through the wooden bridge sections now. Yes. Oh, I was so happy to see that. I think I see... Maybe not. Oh, just... Okay. Way off in the distance, I can see the waterfall coming down. And it yep. looks like maybe I saw a line stretch across the, near the top of it. <laughs> the, the, way, the way I've got the tracker line, we're going to go right through the spray of the waterfall. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, is it too tall? Oh, don't tell me it's too tall. No. Uh oh. Uh. Finagling with the uh, walls. <laughs> you have to dam the river for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I should have done was give myself a telegraph office back at the top of the bridge, and I didn't do that. Now I'm going to walk all the way back up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that I have a bridge facing the wrong direction. I mean, the railing's on the wrong side. It should be on the downhill side where it's dangerous if you fall. Oh, I mean, the new uh, fence props, you could always just add a fence on the other side anyway. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that fence look. But, I mean, it's more for like a. I don't know, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Like a paddock, you know, like a pasture or something. Yeah. I was kind of dis I was, I was, I was, when I heard they'd added fences, I was kind of thinking it was going to be uh, like a spline, kind of like the telegraph poles. It was like these individual sections you have to like build one at a time. Yeah. And also the, uh, the tilt for them uh, is sort of like, <laughs> Tilts it sort of so it's leaning forward or backwards rather than angling it up or down. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the same with the the shovel prop as well. You can only have that laying flat on the ground. You can't have it like propped up against the wall or something. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. The shovel one. I did the hay bales, um, and I was trying to make a hay bale like lean up, lean up against another one. Mm. And I couldn't make it tilt the right way. I was like, that's not how someone would stack that. <laughs> uh, devs, if you're listening, because you seem to be quite a lot, uh, <laughs> just, we, we need like full 3D rotation for the props. Yes. Please. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and make the signs face towards us when we face it, when you know, place them down. That'd be great. Seems like every time I place a sign, I gotta turn at 180 degrees. Yeah, I have that as well. I love this. Really, like last, last like two or three recordings, we were complaining they should be adding signs. Now they've added uh -huh. them, we're still complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Never happy. <laughs> no, I'm actually very happy with it so far. I mean, they're they're it's a work in progress, right? And we're also beta, so I, I wish they would have focused more on the client side stuff but it sounds like they got a lot of that stuff fixed as well so which i'm super happy for yeah there was definitely a lot of stuff listed in the uh the patch notes uh i'll have to walk near some trains and see if i get the clinging because they've apparently fixed that yeah Come on, please just give me a link i know i'm like several thousand meters away from the top <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teleport over to you so I can see kind of where you're at. I know I'm kind of cheating a little bit seeing your progress, but I want to make sure that we're on the right elevation. So I'm running down your track right now. Oh yeah, right through that spray. Yes, love it. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what okay. I can do. I can put one of these, can't I? Yeah, I mean, there's no supports underneath it, but they'll get you across. Just to get over that annoying gap where I can't uh, build proper bridges.
just. Actually, I don't think I'll do one. Bye. I'm gonna build another one because I need to get over there. Alright. I'm gonna I graph office on the bridge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That sounds like success. <laughs> but it's too long because there's a hill right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just thought that I've, I've put that uh, like bridge thing in the middle, but that's gonna you can't put that on a grade, can you? That's just gonna so it's gonna be two percent random level off in the middle, and then two percent again. That's fine. Do I rebuild this entire bridge to be completely zero percent? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Well, then the only option is to go back further and come up steeper on my bit. I mean, I'm at 3%, but I can go back further. I was zero for a long, long ways. So, and there's yeah. nothing really pre preventing me from doing that. I'll just yeah. have to delete this and come back with a little bit, a little bit steeper earlier. Why that tree spinning? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reach. Why don't why don't I just stop if you could hook up to me? Is that possible? Shoot, that looks almost level. So an S bend curve <laughs> with I think that's about four percent grade can make that. Four percent? Yeah. Well the only thing we can do is try it, right? I mean it's a it's a short wow. <laughs> you turn around you're looking uphill. <laughs> well, if we stall out on it, then uh, we'll have to get a more stronger locomotive, I guess. I don't know. Is your um, is your section all logged out? Uh, should be. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, this was the only section I wasn't sure about. I think everything from here should be clear. Cool. All right. Um, do me a favor. And meet me at the coal mine, or the uh, iron mine, rather. Ugh. Okay, there's buildings outside. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. So with all the grinding that we've been doing the last couple episodes, and then me off screen, we were able to uh, afford this locomotive teamed up with uh, 18 flat state cars and a caboose according to the calculator which is why it was vitally important to keep it at three percent this will make it just barely <laughs> so we'll see what that four percent looks like yeah i have mixed feelings about that whistle yeah there's, there's Not... a few sort of like weird chimes Called chimes that I know. It, it sounds very fake. It doesn't sound realistic at all. Mm. To me, anyway. I mean, it al almost sounds like uh, Sierra Railroad number three, but sort of, sort of Sierra Railroad number three before they replaced the whistle and <laughs> got, got it back to how <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I'm not sure the direction of this switch. And we're we are wrong. We need to turn here. Are you gonna get it? Run! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh oh. Look at it. Oh, you got it. Check that out. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna keep the brakes on because we actually have another switch here, and it is wrong. Can you go grab the switch too, please? Oh, no. Run! Run! Uh, stuck in the cab. <laughs> Uh -oh. I'm not going to get that one. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We can back up. I'll go full reverser and reverse with full regulator. You can see I made little signs that I like mainline this way, and this is a slow. And here's a little town that I made. It's not named yet. I did have a water tower here, but I was having some issues with uh, the tool working, and it was saying that there was a little water tower that was incorrect. Hmm. So I've decorated it up a little bit, made a little made a little town here, 
Um, I believe this sign says name of town here or something like yeah. that. I can't read it from here. <laughs> so I haven't named it yet. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no station house either. Um, get out of the train. Thank you. Yeah, I think I used uh, whatever this building is as a station house. This when I was experimenting. sheriff's office. Yeah. Because it's got quite a wide uh, like overhang as the others. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. So, yeah, I just kind of placed some houses around and stacked up some buildings. Decorated up a little bit. So, of course, I had to play, you know? Yeah. Gotta make it look awesome. We have to figure out a name for this town. I have no idea what the name towns. <laughs> well, maybe we could leave that to the comments. That's what I was thinking. Do you have a brilliant name for, for our town? Leave it in the comments below. Also, leave All a set. like while you're at it. <laughs> right, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this locomotive can do. We're at 26. I hope I got all the trees. <laughs> Well, what's life without a bit of risk? Right. Eh? Eh? Exactly. There's still ah, risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right there, risk. I figured that'd be a good area right there for a passing track as well, but we have the town right next to it, so... I, I love this locomotive. This is an awesome locomotive. Yeah, I wasn't sure about it when, when I first saw it, because I thought this, the... The boiler sort of looks a bit too big for for the body, but <laughs> just the the pulling power and the speed is just like such a like a, a plus. It's got that um, American style thing of the uh, black body, but like the bare metal or silver front. Mm -hmm. Don't really. Uh... Well, I think there's a, there's a few countries that do that. They don't really do that in the UK. Oh, they don't. No, I think most most locomotives in the UK have the front painted all black. Interesting. Uh oh, we're gonna take this uh, passing track. We gotta slow down because that's a sharp curve up here. I'm off the regulator. <laughs> Nothing like taking a, the passing track for no apparent reason. All right, back up 100%. Lost all of our our speed there, all of our momentum. The very windy track, but I was having a very hard time getting up those steps. I think I uh, screwed us. Uh oh. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, that tree oh. not really there? <laughs> uh, like I think it is. The train bumped into it. <laughs> okay, yeah. We need to set a break. Kind of funny, without saying anything to each other, we both used like the old like color for the for the wooden bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all yours are all old as well. I mean, I've I've used one, but I I, I use the old color for it. So I I just messed up. Um, it's it's fine, uh, but I left the the tender break on uh, while trying to start off. There. Uh. uh huh. Yeah, sound familiar? But <laughs> um, I've I've turned it off and I'm backing down past that siding now, and we'll. We'll take the main up it. We are slowing down a little bit. We were doing 15, now we're down to 13. Unfortunately, it does not really level off much for us to pick up speed. So. I'm gonna push comes to shove and just dump the uh, boost. Yeah. 
That's true. We'll see. It does level off up here in a little bit. Just not very long. It's right, actually, in this area. Right after this uh, trestle bridge. Uh oh Wow. Um, that was some bumpy track. Hmm. Ooh. And we've lost the... Yeah, yeah, I see that. Hey, I'm taking off like a rocket now. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, apparently I, I got some bad track right there. I should probably throw a brake on these wagons. Okay. Yeah, uh, please do. Uh, yeah, I think it's like, like connected to the... That goes the wrong thing. Yeah, it's got one of those like lot like X in the middle of the track where it's like connected to the wrong side of the spline. Uh, well, the wagons don't seem to be rolling. I think they're actually stuck on it. So oh, that's good. <laughs> Benefit. Well, what's an episode without a derail, right? Oh, okay. One brake is not enough to hold it. <laughs> Nor is two. It took four breaks to bring it to a complete stop. Wow. Uh, well, that's what these tests are for. All right. Back on track. <laughs> well, let's hope I didn't screw that up again. More trees in the way. Yeah, that too. <laughs> as now, as you can see, it goes from nothing to three percent right here. Just bend upwards. But we are yeah. cruising along. We're doing twenty-four. Yeah, the chuffing sounds sounds stable. Do have the entire train, right? <laughs> can't see around the bend to see the locomotive or the. I, <laughs> I can't see the end, anyways. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! That was kind of. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Uh oh! What was that? <laughs> oh. Fantastic. <laughs> That's one less wagon. <laughs> More of Evil One's nasty track. I gotta go back here and I didn't even know what that was. It was just like a weird, like, sideways bump. Yeah. I mean, is it this, was it this lump in the terrain here? Oh, no. Like, if you, if you come and stand where I am and crouch down, you can see it's, sort of like, angled slightly downwards on the, on the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I cut that a little too... Close. You know what? I'm gonna put a. Uh, telegraph office right here. And I will come back later and fix it. Where's our caboose? Did we lose uh, a caboose? Probably. It's probably, probably rolling down, down the hill right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can report the uh, client side clinking has been fixed, but the client side. Stuff rolling away is not fixed. <laughs> At least the clinking, that was annoying. Very annoying. Alright. I'm gonna back up to this train here. I'll hook up to it. We have some cars to pull. Probably the console was coupled and what isn't coupled now because this is. <laughs> <laughs> Should be contact right now. There it is. Brakes are off. Right, well, now this little train is nothing for this locomotive. Yeah, we've gone from 18 to 
like six. <laughs> I think we've got nine. Nine? Okay, Three. that's not horrible. Yeah, nine. We've got, we've got half the train. <laughs> <laughs> 50 percent dead loss is, uh, you yeah. know, that's acceptable at the AD and D. <laughs> Going through the train wash. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I've no idea what way the switch is at the top of that. Uh oh, uh oh. We got oh. it. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. oh. <laughs> I hit that uh. during about 30. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I didn't clear the trees. <laughs> Literally just that one. That was this. <laughs> it happens. Ask me how I know. <laughs> You link it? Uh, I don't know. I'm right clicking. I'm not hearing the. Did you get it? I, well, I heard it, so. Okay. Let's find out. Well, I've been looking at the couple of the tender possibly. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, can you get the brake on the tinder, please? Thank you. All right. Well, we started off with 18 plus a caboose. We're rolling into station with uh, no cars. <laughs> Acceptable losses. Acceptable losses at the AD&D. &D. That's right. Full break. Check out our loop here. Tidna spent a lot of time working on. The important thing is we are actually up here with a locomotive at least. We got up here with a, a train would be better, but you know that's what these tests are for. Now we know what to fix, right? Yeah. And we can produce coal for our new coal-driven, coal-fired locomotive risk. Yeah. So what are your thoughts here? What are your plans here? Uh, well, obviously, we're going to need uh, a line going the other way for the, the shortcut at some point. What I'll probably do... Uh, sort of make this a bit of a dog boat and have another loop um, where we've got the track going down, so we'll have another switch there and have a loop coming back round. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure something out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sounds great. And obviously we've got the sidings here for shunting a, a banking locomotive or over, overflow wagons. Yeah, we might need... Uh, a little helper locomotive or something uh, up here. If nothing else, just to help, like, run down rolling stock that's rolling down the hill. Yeah. I can see in the distance the rest of our train right across there. I'm guessing that's outside of your render distance. Yeah, I can see the track. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll MS Paint in a picture of a bunch of wagons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done so already. Feel free to hit that thumbs down as well. But if you do, do me a big favor and leave a comment letting me know what I can do to improve. And um, Tidmouth, as always, 
do you have any parting words of wisdom? I mean, I was going to say pretty much the same as you, uh, really. Oh, I stole your thunder. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, <laughs> I feel I'm somewhat deliberate. Um, <laughs> like, like, comment, subscribe, hit the join button if you're feeling uh, generous. Uh, That's right. I'm yeah. trying to produce like little extra behind the scenesy type videos for channel members. So, oh, very cool. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Oh.